Hey everyone, this is Mastermind278 here once again with the Motorola Click XT. I'm going to show you guys on how to install a ROM onto the Click XT. At this point, you guys probably should have watched my first video on how to install a custom uh, recovery as well as getting root. So we're back with the same phone here. Uh, the phone does not have a custom ROM or anything installed, so it, it has been rooted. You know, super users there. And we did install the custom recovery. And if you haven't done that yet, you can follow the instructions on my previous video. So at this point, we're ready to get rid of this annoying 1.5 and get 2.3, 2.1, or even 2.2 running on this phone. So the first thing you're going to want to do is plug in the phone to the USB. So we're just going to plug it in right now. Okay, so we plugged in our phone to USB, and now we're getting the message um, that USB is connected. We're going to choose USB drive, and then our computer should pop up. We're just going to open folder to view files, or you can always just go to my computer and um, be able to access your phone. I have previously already downloaded a few ROMs here on my computer. So I have Cyanogen Mod uh, for the Zeppelin, it's a nightly build, Groovy G's 2.1, uh, basically Blurless Mastermind 278, this is the ROM made by me, and then G Apps. Um, for this purpose, I'm actually going to uh, install Cyanogen Mod, but I'm just going to show you guys what you guys do. So you guys download the ROMs, usually they're a zip file, so for example, my zip file, and you're just going to push it over right to the main directory. So it should be under removable disk and you're just going to drag it over right into the main directory and just let it copy over. It's important that it is in the root of the SD card, so meaning the main directory of the SD card. So we're just going to copy this file over and just going to copy them all over actually and show you guys how this works on uh, recovery. Wait for that one to finish and then push these guys over. So basically, you just highlight them, click on it, and just drag it over right to the main folder. It's important that it is that removable disk main folder there. Okay, so I'm just going to drag these guys in here too and allow them to copy over. Does take a little while depending on how fast your um, SD card is. Uh, for most people, you guys probably will have a lot more folders than I do. Like, once again, it's, everything's formatted to make it look easier and less complicated. The key to this part right here is just making sure that you do copy the zip file and do not change anything on the zip file right onto the SD card. Don't extract the zip file, just copy the zip right to the SD card. So we're going to wait for this to finish here, with only 45 more seconds. So once this is done, we're just going to end up just going to our, our drop down here and just remove the uh, disk. And I'm just going to have it ready here, so once it's done copying files, I just click on it to speed up the process here. Alright, so I'm just going to remove disk, and it is safe to, to remove. Okay, so now we have the files right on our phone, so we're going to go back to our phone and work on it. At this point, we actually don't need the phone to be connected to the USB, so I'm just going to unplug it to make it easier to work with here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is actually just power off the phone. Okay, now that the phone is powered off, the key here is to hold down the camera button as well as the power button. So right now I'm holding down the camera button and I'm going to hold the power button and I'm continuing to hold the camera button. Don't let go of the camera button until you get a message. So as you can see, I'm still holding it and I get a message that says, please release camera key. So I do and now I get this here and we're going to press the volume down button. Okay. 
By pressing the volume down button, we're actually going to load up the recovery. At this point, if you get a explanation point, you haven't installed the custom recovery. So at this point, we should get a, a nice recovery here, and it should be J-Rod's uh, recovery, and it should look like this. To scroll and work with here, we're going to use the trackpad as it states, and it allows us to go up and down on the options here. We're actually going to choose flash zip from SD, and you can see all the ROMs that I put on the phone. I didn't include a wiper, which some of the ROMs have been including, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to wipe, and I'm going to choose wipe all. And at this point it says press trackpad to confirm, so I'm going to press trackpad to confirm. It's going to pretty much wipe out my system. Well, it doesn't really wipe out the system, but it wipes out your data, your cache, and everything else. And then use the back button to get, go back to the main screen. I'm going to choose flash zip from SD. And like I said, I'm going to install CyanogenMod, so CM Zeppelin. Click there. And it's going to say, do you want to install? Press the trackpad, so you press on the trackpad. So now we're actually extracting the files, and they're being installed right onto our phone. This actually takes um, a couple of minutes to get this to install here. After this, uh, for, for any Cytogen mod, uh, you do have to install the Google Apps. They aren't included with the zip file. For all other ROMs that are found on Mod My Mobile or simply Android, however, they do tend to include Google Apps. The Google Apps include the Market, Gmail, and other apps like that. Um, but for Cyanogen purposes, they do not include those apps, so we do have to install another zip file after that. Once again, you only have to do that if you're installing a Cyanogen Mod ROM. All the other ROMs for Click XT at the moment do not require you to install two zip files. So we go here, we're still installing the update. Like I said, it does take a little while to get this installed. And we just wait it up and then eventually it'll say finished. And then we install the other uh, zip file. <laughs> Again, at this point, you guys probably might just want to fast forward to um, the point that it is done installing the update. Uh, you guys don't really have to watch the phone while it's being updated here. It's just going to take a little while here, so... I won't get offended if you guys fast forward it. All right, install from SD complete. So now we're going to go back down and we're going to choose flash zip from SD and choose the G apps which is our Google apps I'm going to press the trackpad here and it's going to install these, these are actually going to be a lot quicker, it's just a few apps, I think it actually only comes with the market and a few other things everything else you do have to download from the market um, as of 2.2 pretty much Gmail um, YouTube and all those good things are actually found on the market, it's a new thing, so now that's done installing I'm going to press reboot system now and it says rebooting. I'm just going to wait here. All right, so we're actually rebooting the system. Um, we're just going to wait it up, and eventually, Cyanogen Mod should be running and working. That's how you'd have Gingerbread Android 2.3. Uh, working on the Motorola Click XT. I do warn you though that the first boot after installing any new ROM will definitely take a lot longer than any other ROM would normally take to boot up. That's normal, the first the first boot. I'm actually running out of time on this tape so I'm just gonna continue on a different one. 
Okay, so we're still here waiting for this continue to boot. As I stated, the first boot always does take a little longer than your other typical boots. So we're just here waiting and waiting and eventually we will see something. Again, I do apologize that, you know, it is just a waiting game at this point. All right, so now we're actually seeing the Cyanogen mod uh, boot animation. Again, like I said previously, this will definitely take a lot longer, this first boot up, and that is actually quite normal um, for our phones. Just trying to get you guys to see this cool animation a little better here. So yes. Like I said, this will definitely take a little longer, but it will boot up in probably a few minutes. Pretty much at this point, we're just extracting all the files onto the phone. Yep, at this point you guys probably should just fast forward a little bit till we get to a point where um, it isn't taking so long. Alright, I think we're actually about to be ready here. I did hear it vibrate, which is a good thing, which means it's just about done. Maybe I lied. Oh, here we go. Welcome to the Click XT. And we're going to get, you know, our cool little things here. Ooh, there we go. Um, sign in what do you want to we'll just set up the account later here just want to show you guys on how it works first here we're just going to skip I think I must have pressed the wrong thing there next all right so now it's about to be done booting up and here you go we're running gingerbread on the click xt um let's see here it actually comes up uh, by default with adw launcher um i'm not a really huge fan of adw launcher however i do recommend adw ex or launcher pro it does tend to run a little better i just show it to you guys i'm going to go to settings here and we're just going to go to the about phone and as you can see we're running android 2.3.3 on the motorola click xt all right so i'm just going to show you guys a little bit here it's really quick most everything works here you have camera you have gps you have google maps you have the browser everything seems to be working it's really awesome running um Android 2.3 on the Click XT, especially when it's being held back with 1.5. I'll have a more in-depth review with the ROM a little later, at a later time. But this is to show you guys on how to install a custom ROM on the Click XT. Hope you guys have a great time and good luck installing and modifying your Click XT.